and uh, a lot of you guys were requesting a video on how to make a background like mine and uh, here I will give you a better view there we go and here's my portfolio if you guys didn't know I had one of those because that is something I have and yeah so here it is here's a close up and um, if you guys don't know I was gone for about a year and I came back on the first day I got all my Cinema 4D and stuff I made this background, so a lot of you guys were like impressed, and you guys were like, "Hey, you know, you got, you know how to make backgrounds. I bet you teach you how to make a YouTube background." And I was like, "You know what? I will." So, yeah, all right, okay. So let's do this. So, as you can see, there is the it's the new YouTube. You know, if you guys are watching this in like a year, and you know you're new to YouTube, and you're like, "What do you mean new YouTube?" I mean, like, YouTube backgrounds did not used to look like this. They just started looking like this, like, like, officially they started looking like this, like, two days ago. But, you know, unofficially, I just whistled on accident, unofficially, like, uh, a year ago. Or, like, not a year ago, like, four months ago. But, yeah, this is called, I forgot what they call this, like, cosmic something. But this is the new YouTube layout. And a lot of you guys were like, oh, my God, Kotraka. Or not Kotraka, just YouTube. Why are you doing this to me? You guys don't understand. Here's what I realized. I came back to this and I was devastated because I realized I could not use all of this. I used to love using this space. As you can see right here, this right here, boom, boom, right here, all this space. This is all covered up by the big layout. And now we can't use it anymore. All right? But there's a plus to all this. All right? Right here. This is what you guys are, aren't, aren't prepared for. I don't think you guys realize this when you guys are complaining. Look at this. We can now use I burped, all of this. This is this is some real this is gold right here. All of this right here. See this YouTube's giving us all this. This is graphic designer gold right here, right there on top of or right there on top of the models, modules. We can use all that. This is gold. This is beauty. So I think you guys should be a bit more appreciative to YouTube's awesome, you know, development team for discovering this this super cool, you know, layout, which is obviously a lot better than the old one even though it sucks balls. But now that, you know, let's get on with this tutorial here. All right, let's start it because I already wasted like two minutes being dumb. All right, so here I'm going to show you guys how to make something like this. So just so you guys know, it's just a you know, simple background, you know, how to get everything set. And something you can make for some people or for yourself or whatever, you know? Maybe sprinkle in some stuff of your own style, but just something simple, you know, a base. Alright, so here we go. We got this. It's the layout. I did not make this. I didn't want to spend all that time mapping stuff out, so I looked up free new YouTube template, and this guy popped up. I like his I liked his one. It is this. Alright, so if you want to see it, this guy's Volts FX. He doesn't seem like that big of a graphic designer but he made a cool template and I like to use it so you should sub to him or whatever I don't care I mean you should sub to him I do care sub to him but yeah also subscribe to me that's also important yes and <laughs> if uh, yeah so yours will probably look something like this give or take you know a little bit of detail he put in a lot of detail to his I think but let me show you guys how I do it and you guys don't have to do it just like me. I may not be doing it the right way. I may not be doing it the way you like, but this is how I like to do it. All right. So first of all, I I don't like he 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 gives us this you know the gradient. I personally like to create my own weird gradient thingy, which isn't really gradient, but it's what I consider a gradient. All right. So let's pick a color. Um, what's a good color to use? Let's use green. Okay. Let's go to a dark green. Like a forest green, something like that. I don't know, something cool. And uh, let's drag it up a little bit. Um, boom. So it's dark. It's pretty dark. And from there, you can. Uh, well, what do I usually do? All right. From there, here's what I do. A lot of people go and they uh, go gradients to lighten up the edges of here, or they have like an inner glow or outer glow. I mean, this is what I do, and it's a lot. It takes a bit more time, but I think it looks a little bit better. So I go to Control Command, uh, Control Command, click the thumbnail on my modules. So it, as you can see, it outlines my modules, and then I open a new layer under my modules, and I go to Select 
modify expand and then I guess I'll expand by about 40 and then boom that's fine with me and then from there I go to select modify feather which kind of uh, how would I say this it kind of softens up the selection boom and if you want to really really want to see what it did usually if I fill this in it would be a straight like rectangle but now it is this and you can see it's a lot softer on the edges and I just fill that in or you can paint it in I don't or fill or you know paint bucket it in I don't really care but as you can see it adds that glow that's not really exactly what I was going for so here's what I got a filter gaussian blur and then I blur it quite a lot uh, not that much not that much that much all right and then from there as you can see if you want to see the difference since when I blurred it you know it just blurs out more makes it softer and from there I go to soft light and as you can see it adds a glow to the edge Ooh, there we go it adds a glow to the edge actually I don't like the screen I'm gonna go back to blue sorry if that pisses you guys off um, <laughs> uh, sorry if I'm being weird I'm just tired and stuff all right so here, as you can see, it's a lot easier to see with the blue eye, I think, personally. There's a glow around it, which I like. And then from there, since this is an outer glow, we can do this. So from there, since there's a glow, I like to go to my eraser tool. Go to soft eraser, not too big. Why can I not see the outline of my eraser? Is that, is that normal? Okay, well, I don't really care. But for my eraser tool, I pick a soft brush, and I go decently big, and I just erase sort of the edges and just to round it out a little bit mm -mm 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 -mm. alright not that much, too much alright, well that's that's good I think alright, so as you can see, there's the base color there's an outline and stuff uh, from there, I, I'll make a new layer over the modules and uh, this is personally, you know, all what I do. You guys don't have to do it just like this. And I make a little circle with my elliptical marquee tool. And I go to select, inverse, and I paint bucket in a black. From there, I filter gosh and blur again, and I blur a lot, like full blur. And then I go to OK. And then I wait for it to load. And as you can see, that adds a really nice look to it. And then I go to my eraser tool, and I usually, you know, go a lot, and then I just sort of erase out the edges. Maybe I should make it a bit bigger. There we go. 666. Six, six. That's a really cool number. And then I uh, make it a big, a bit, you know, a lighter around the edges so it doesn't interfere with any of the text I'm putting around, if you know what I mean. And now it's just like, you know, the black around the edges, which I think adds like a really cool effect. I also go on my brush and I add like a light black to the edges if it's going to show up I don't know what's going on oh that is not what I'm looking for and then I just have to go light black to the edges just because that's what I want to do alright and now that I got that uh, you got you know your outline color your base color and your vignette on the, the vignette layer which I have a label for you guys um, go to your gradient tool and go to the color to transparency uh, make make it a black make it a black or whatever color you made the vignette and just go up and you know just make it dark on the edge and sort of fade up and as you can see that just adds that that's what I was going for and if you want you can add a little bit on the top I don't a lot of people do so that's up to you what is your personal preference and uh, from here you're just about done with you know the base and stuff and now you can start adding things uh, a lot of this depends on how you do it yours if depending on your style will not look like this and maybe if this is your style it'll look like this or if you're just following step by step on how I'm doing um, you can also change the color if this isn't how you want it by going to hue adjustments and maybe making it a different color let's say just make it a lighter blue yeah that's fine whatever and then from here, we can start putting in text and stuff. Um, normally, you know, on my backgrounds, I'd put in like a 3D text from Cinema 4D or something right here. But right now, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go to my text tool. I'm going to type in tutorial like I did last time and flip it over to the side. Since this is not a partner background, I got to put it on the side. Make it smaller so you can see on the actual thing and zoom in. And then, all right, 
let's put this on the side. And I don't really like black, so what color did I make last time? What did I make that? Let's say a whitish silver. I will do the same. White silver. Boom. Alright, so I got that going on the white silver little cool thing, and I'm going to put that under the modules, or whatever, I'm going to put it over the modules, I don't really care. And then, um, from there, I will, I'm just going to put it under, actually, since I'm going to add, like, effects on it. And then from there, since, you know, you can add really whatever you want, let's say, I want to add the, boom, the link to, like, a YouTube name, so YouTube dot com slash user and I will make that really small maybe like a 60 and then I'll keep that on the side and now let's edit some layer styles um let's add a drop shadow and maybe make it a bit spread and that's fine I'm not really gonna go into crazy detail here obviously um, and it's had a s glow, and what I usually do with the outer glows, I don't usually do them for like straight, you know, outer glows, I usually do them to make it pop better, so I add a white outer glow, and then I go on soft light, and as you can see, that adds, just adds some pop, and then I make the drop shadow darker, um, alright, and then I got that, and then here's what I can do, I can hold, I can alt-click my, uh, layer style, as you can see, I got the FX, and I can add it to here, and now both of them got, have, uh, the same layer style, on this one, since it's you know on a different side, I'm gonna make it a bit lighter, and then I'm gonna turn off global light. Okay, add like that, and that's perfect. As you can see, I got that. Since it's still a bit dark, since I used uh, that this personal you know this this drop shadow for a much bigger text, so I got to change it up a little bit. But there we go, and uh, yeah, and maybe if you want to add just some more effects, you know you can duplicate your tutorial layer or whatever you know your main text is rotate it a bit make it bigger and lower the opacity just add you know some more things or whatever I don't know it's really up to you and this is just like a basic you know background and uh, just something simple something you know not too much and from here out from here on you can just add any uh, any effects or images or anything to your style or to what your client or what you want so, um, yeah, that's just a basic tutorial, and I hope you guys uh, like the video, uh, subscribe, and request more videos. Thank you.